Hi, so um, today's column is about the new launches in skincare for autumn and winter, um, of which there are many. We tend to see lots of skincare products coming through at this time of year because obviously the weather conditions change, our skin tends to feel a bit drier, um, people are not thinking about bronzing and all that sort of stuff anymore, people tend to um, shift focus back to things like anti-aging. And obviously there's the Christmas market, so lots and lots of new things launch in the autumn. So I just wanted to talk you through um, a few of my favourite launches. Um, there's absolutely tons that's coming out, but these are the things that I just want to pick out and, um, and let you know about in a little bit more detail. So um, I'm going to do that now. The first thing I wanted to talk to you about was um, Lancome Visionaire. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I have been asked about this every day for the past two or three weeks. Um, everybody wants to know what it's like. It's had so much press. It had, you know, a double page spread in one of the tabloids. Um, everybody's saying Kate Middleton's using it. Not that Kate Middleton needs an anti-aging serum in my opinion, um, but there's lots of celebrity support for it and so on. And there's talk of massive waiting lists and all that stuff. So I know people are really curious about it. Basically, um, Visionaire is an anti-aging serum. It is tackling um, wrinkles, uneven skin tone and open pores. All of those things, or very visible pores, all of those things are associated with skin as it ages and it's aiming to tackle those things. Um, some of the papers and some of the hype, there's been so much hype around it, are saying it has the same effect as Botox. This is ridiculous. No product can have the same effect as Botox. Botox temporarily paralyzes muscles. There is no way something applied topically to your skin can ever have that effect. It is simply not possible. It just drives me mad that people are going around saying this <clears throat> and expecting um, people to then part with 60 odd quid um, to achieve those effects which will never happen. However, that doesn't mean to say I don't think Visionaire's good. At the moment I'm testing it and I really, really like it. I'm very happy with it. I'm happy with the way my skin is responding to it. Um, however, with any serum, you don't really know how well you're getting on for about six to eight weeks. And preview copies haven't been available, preview samples haven't been available for long enough for me to say definitively whether it works well or not. But certainly at the moment, I'm very happy with what it's doing. It goes beautifully under makeup, a really, really nice base. Um, and under night cream at night time, um, it has a lovely texture to it. My skin certainly feels very hydrated um, and I am very happy with it. So at the moment it's performing well and um, I'm buying into it, but what I'm not buying into is that it works as well as Botox. And the waiting list thing, not sure about that. I personally seem to find that you can buy it wherever Lancome is sold. Again, I think this is something that's been sort of invented by um, the tabloid rumour mill. And as for people like Kate Middleton and Pippa Middleton swearing by it, they've been sent some for free. So of course they're gonna try it. But I am happy with it. I do think it's a good product. And actually Lancome's um, previous serum, the Hero product before, Genevieve, um, Genifique serum, I loved. I really, really loved. Um, and this has a very similar consistency. They seem to be sort of building on that. So, um, so far, so good. But I know people want to know about that. So I wanted to just cover it. Um, I'll report back on it maybe in the comments section in a few weeks when I've had a full couple of months to test it. Um, <clears throat> another serum that's launched is um, Clarins Vital Light Serum. This is for um, dark spot correction specifically and for a more luminous finish. Um, <clears throat> I haven't started using this yet because I'm still testing Lancome and I don't want to skew my trials. Um, but. Um, I have tried the cream that goes with it, and I love the cream, um, so I've got high hopes for the serum. Also, it's got so many kind of plant extracts in and, and that sort of stuff that if, if you like to feel that you have more of a natural product, that you have science working in conjunction with nature, then Clarence is always a really good choice. Um, <clears throat> so I'm looking forward to trying that. But like I say, the accompanying cream is great, so I would imagine it'll have a similar sort of effect as that. The other range that I'm just so interested in is the new super range by um, Dr. Nicholas Pericone. Dr. Nicholas Pericone is um, a very well-known um, cosmetic dermatologist. Um, he's very well regarded in the industry and he has um, a line of products called Pericone MD um, and they're very good. This is his new range and what's different about it is that it has no parabens, no silicones, 
Um, no mineral oils, no synthetic colours, fragrance, no animal testing, no animal byproducts, that sort of thing. It's, you know, it's, a, it's really great for people who are very aware of those things and keen for, to try a kind of purer product. And these values go across the range. But yet, because he is a proper doctor, um, there's a great deal of science involved in the formulas. It's not just chucking a load of essential oils and hoping for the best. You know, it, it's properly scientifically produced. Um, so you have that kind of authority behind it but you're not having any of the nasty chemicals in it. And what I have loved in particular from this range, is it? Um, oh yes, it's this actually. Yes, three minute facial. It just, um, it's one of those products where um, if you just feel like your skin looks a bit grey and a bit gloomy and downcast, um, after cleansing you just pop this on for three minutes and then you can rinse it off or in my case I've been taking it off with a hot cloth and it just kind of makes your cheeks nice and pink and puts some zing back into your skin and just, you just look more vibrant and awake. I really, really like it. But there's every imaginable type of product in the range. There, is, um, there are moisturisers. And um, there's this lovely brightening serum, which is really nice, again, if dullness is a problem for you. I also think the packaging is lovely. I know it shouldn't matter, but I do like a nice, um, a nice box and bottle. I can't even get this out. Um, it's just kind of quite cute, sort of branding and stuff. Um, it's also a little bit cheaper than Pericone's main range. Um, I think they're maybe trying to appeal to a younger customer, so that's also encouraging. The next thing I want to talk to you about are BB creams. You are going to be seeing these everywhere. Um, this BB creams are massive in Japan. They have been the biggest kind of revolution in, in skincare for years. Um, BB creams are all-in-one moisturisers. What they do is they moisturise... They treat blemishes and spots. They act as a sort of light foundation, so they cover imperfections. They're a sunscreen and they're an anti-aging cream. So they basically do everything or claim to do everything. This one by Garnier is the first mass market BB cream in this country. <clears throat> it's really reasonably priced. And I'll show you. So it comes in different colors. If you see, it's got a sort of sheer coverage bit more than lots of tinted moisturisers, a bit less than um, foundation. What it does, it just sort of blurs all the imperfections, but also is a proper moisturiser. So whereas I personally never wear tinted moisturiser on its own, I always put it on over normal day cream, this can go on on its own, really cheap. Like, it's really worth a try. It smells lovely, it's got green tea in it. <clears throat> lots of BB creams. Um, do use um, green tea and ingredients like that. The BB stands for blemish balm, so the idea is it covers blemishes, treats blemishes, but it's not just for oily and greasy skin, it's for all skin types. I was really impressed with this, a really, really good solid product and believe me this will be the first of very, very many that you see. All the beauty companies are gearing up to launch a BB cream. What else did I want to show you? Eucerin. Eucerin is one of my favourite high street brands. It's so good. It's really overlooked because it's really unsexy. The packaging's just like, you know, in no way inspiring. But the products inside are so, so good. It's a really, really good brand, especially for dry and dehydrated skins. And they've just launched a new range of cleansers, um, which again are under £10. Really very good work, brilliantly with the hot cloth method. And um, they've also launched um, some hyaluronic acid moisturisers that plump up the skin, which are also brilliant if you have dehydrated skin. Um, and they've even done one for oily combination skin, <clears throat> which, as I've said before, it's perfectly possible to have dehydrated and oily skin at one and the same time, because one's a lack of water, one's too much oil. Um, so I'm, I'm really impressed with these. Such a good brand. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was Alginist. Now, Alginist is at the very premium end of the scale. It's at Space NK, um, stockists like that. And what Alginist is, is um, a skincare range of predominantly moisturisers and eye cream, night cream, day cream, sunscreen, eye cream. And it uses a new ingredient called algoronic acid. And algoronic acid um, was discovered by scientists um, who weren't researching skincare at all. They were researching for completely environmental, they were environmental scientists. They were um, researching it for completely different purposes and accidentally found that it holds an incredible amount of water, which is 
the kind of ingredient we use against dehydrated skin. And I am mad for this. I've been using this for the past couple of weeks. I love it, love it, love it. It hangs on to so much water and really plumpens your skin. It has such a lovely consistency. I'm really, really keen on this range. And the science behind it and the story behind it is really, really interesting. Um, and they're nice, big, kind of chunky pots. Um, it's, they're these biotechnology um, scientists that have discovered it, which I think is quite interesting. But like, again, not very sexy, but the product within is so lovely. If you have dehydrated skin and you want those kind of very sort of boosting moisturizers, especially with the sunscreen, um, this is a fabulous range and it's really natural as well. Um, Algoronic acid is totally natural as is hyaluronic acid. So um, you're ticking that box too. Um, another high street product that I'm really mad for is, and um, that's just come in, is Lush It's Raining Men um, shower gel. It's really lovely and rich and it's made from honey and um, it just feels so lovely, soft and pampering on the skin. Very keen on that. Um, Janisa is another um, body care range. I love this a lot. It's kind of very pampering body creams and um, body showers. Lovely for the transition into the colder weather. Um, really sort of pampering feel. Then this range, Estelle and Thilde, is um, an organic skincare range um, that's just come over from Scandinavia and the quality and the packaging as you can see, but the quality is so beautiful and uses plant extracts and really lovely, gorgeous formulas. Quite excited about that range. I'm looking forward to it expanding. Um, and finally, I just wanted to mention one um, hair care brand to you that's new, Percy and Reed. Um, this is um, the brainchild of Adam Reed, formerly of Charles Worthington, now a salonier in his own right. From the West End, he does lots and lots and lots of famous people's hair. He now finally, he and his partner now finally have their own hair care range. Um, it's going to be sold um, online and at Selfridges and at Space NK and various other nice beauty stockists like that. The um, reason I'm really keen on it, I mean, it's very cute, the packaging's really cute and everything. What I'm loving about it in particular is this product. I have such fine, flat hair, but I also want it to be glossy and sleek, but I never use serums. <clears throat> I never use serums because it makes my roots fall and just makes my hair stringy and flat and greasy and horrible. This is the first oil of its kind that I've come across, and it's called Volumizing No Oil Oil for Fine Hair. And um, what it does, it's the only oil I've ever tried that acts like an oil and a serum, but adds volume to the hair. It's brilliant. It's totally brilliant. So you just put like one squeeze on your hands and you do that. And you just stroke it through towel dried hair, but as you're drying it, you know, just before you dry it. And it really bulks up the hair. The other thing you can do on dry hair is you can put it in your hand, you can take a big fat makeup brush, stroke the makeup brush through the oil and then stroke it on your hair um, and it just kind of poofs it up a little bit. It's absolutely brilliant, I love it. It's about 14 quid but it's massive. I mean that would last you, you know, the best part of a year I would think, depending on how often you wash your hair. Um, really, really impressed with that. So if you have um, fine hair, that is absolutely brilliant. But he, they also do great moisturising um, shampoos and conditions if you have drier, coarser hair and a more traditional serum for drying coarser hair. But I just think that product's so original and I found it works so well that I just wanted to highlight it for you. Anyway, um, those are my favourite launches of the autumn. There are loads more, but I haven't got time to cover them. And um, hopefully it didn't come across as too much of a QVC um, demonstration. Um, but I really just wanted to highlight those products for you. And um, But there's an awful lot more coming out. And you can let me know what your favourites are in the comments section. Thank you. Bye.